I suppose I've always possessed a somewhat of a creative nature. It was it was a nature developed mostly from necessity, as as we never really had a lot growing up, and so I had to make do with what I could either find or or just build it myself. And that creative instinct has served me well over the years, and as I began to explore photography as a creative outlet, I I believe those instincts helped me to look beyond the ordinary and see the hidden value nature offers to us through her beauty. Hi, I'm Keith Bridgman, and I've been involved in photography for over 50 years. Over the years, I spent a great many hours fishing and hiking and canoeing, among other, among other outdoor activities. And the person I am today, uh, who does these kinds of things, is, is really that young boy who explored the world around him all those years ago. You know, photography then uh, becomes a natural extension of those activities. And when I'm out photographing, I often find myself behaving much like that young boy I was so long ago who, who was captivated by what he saw and experienced. So I suppose you could say that photography is a fountain of youth in a way, for me anyway. For through it I can, I can relive those less encumbered and innocent days of growing up in southeastern Oklahoma. Sometimes I, I have an agenda when I'm out photographing, but many times I just I just allow nature to present herself to me. And I do believe it will always present something. However, I, there are times I may not always be able to see through all the clutter to, you know, to really find it. But one thing for sure is a great photograph has its roots planted deep within the emotions nature stirs from within us. Because you see, the impact of a photograph influence less by what you see and more by expressing what you feel. It is much about creating an emotional response as it is about harnessing reality. For within the boundaries of reality lie the basis for visions of creativity. And expression becomes the key to releasing those creative instincts. And that is what photography is all about. Back in 2010, I, I started an outdoor and photography blog called, called Beyond the Campfire. And I used it as a means to share not only my photography, but to share my experiences in nature. It was quite a ride, really. I mean, it really was, was quite revealing to me. And, and I learned a great deal about myself and gained a lot of insight into photography by simply writing about it. And in the summer of 2019, after writing and creating well over 400 photography-related posts, I decided to, to kind of give up the blogging world and let the site stand on its own merits. It, it's still out there, and anyone can search through it to, to read the post uh, you know, from the archive if they want to. And I'm just not adding anything new to it, at least for the moment anyway. I do enjoy all kinds of photography, and including astrophotography, location port portrait shoots, and themed creative lighting shoots. But nature photography is where I find my refuge. It's, it's where I, I can get away and just kind of disappear for a while and, and enjoy just uh, enjoy life just in general. Although I have many photography friends, I, I'm more inclined to spend time alone when I'm out in nature. And, I suppose it's just who I am to, to want to be that way. I just feel like I get more out of the experience by making time to be alone out there. It's not that I don't enjoy being with my other photography friends because I, I do uh, also include them in, in some of these shoots and things and I go along with some of the things that they do. But I just, um, I just enjoy being alone and then maybe later on sharing the experiences with others. 
photography can be as creative and unique as as your heart and instincts wants to make it. Uh, it can be anything you want it to be. The, the key to it is to enjoy what you're doing and don't be afraid to, to share it with someone because that's what it's really all about. I'm, I'm Keith Bridgman and I've enjoyed talking with you today.